What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Big Fry and today I had quite a few people asking me uh, what I thought about the new Call of Duty gameplay trailer, which we're going to talk about here. Before we do, if you guys want to check out the merchandise, the link is down below. Pick yourself up a t-shirt, support the channel directly. So Call of Duty, back at it again. We got ourselves a, I guess it's the single player campaign gameplay trailer. The multiplayer reveal is going to be happening on September 9th and I'm hearing rumors that Zombies is going to be shown off soon whether that's on that September 9th reveal or somewhere between now and then I'm not quite sure but basically this game is the direct sequel to Call of Duty Black Ops which if you guys know me you know that was my favorite single player story driven Call of Duty of all time. That game was the pinnacle of good military video game writing. Um, I loved, you know, the numbers and Victor Reznov being uh, just a figment of your imagination, that twist at the end. I absolutely love that shit. Uh, so this being a direct sequel, it's actually going to make me go back and play the original Black Ops again because I haven't played it since it came out. So I'm very excited, man. Um, if you go to their website, it says like, Black Ops Cold War will drop fans into the depths of the Cold War's volatile geopolitical battle of the early 1980s. It's funny, this is an FPS. It's, it's known for its huge, over-the-top, grandiose single-player campaigns with huge set pieces and falling buildings and all these crazy events. The cool thing about it being set in the 1980s is because it's a Cold War, and I don't know if this is some alternate history thing, it looks like it's, you know, sticking close, and obviously they're gonna play and embellish things and tell stories that might not be, you know, 100% accurate, but the cool thing is, is this era and this time period it's, it's going to require them to write a, a very good narrative story about, you know, spies and espionage and sneaking. Like, they showed this one clip where, like, the guys walk up and they ask for your papers. You pull out a pistol out of the back. You shoot the guy. And all this, like, stealth and, and secrecy. And, and it just, th this whole fucking time era can be so well written if they do it right. And the thing about Call of Duty is after playing Modern Warfare's campaign last year, I have all the faith in the world that this is going to be another solid campaign. If you guys don't know, last year I did a complete playthrough on, I think we did realism on the channel for Modern Warfare. I want to do the same thing here and I'm, I'm very excited dealing with like Soviet, the KGB, East Berlin, Vietnam, starts off playing CCR, like this whole time period is incredible and if they can put a really good narrative focus on the the behind the scenes geopolitical battles that went on and and obviously some you know other stuff that's embellished i think it could be a fucking incredible experience we saw ronald reagan all in 3d glory the game is looking pretty good now the thing is is this is the first time i think that like i'm looking at a new call of duty and not even thinking about the multiplayer. The multiplayer, like I said, is set for uh, September 9th, and I don't even care. At the end of the day, Call of Duty multiplayer is Call of Duty multiplayer. Modern Warfare took it to a whole new level, which was very controversial at the time, and I mean, it still is. A lot of people, you know, it split, the, it split the player base, right? It brought in a whole new crowd of people who wanted a slower, not so balls to the walls Call of Duty experience, and it alienated a large portion of that hardcore COD community. And this is Black Ops, right? Black Ops 2 is one of the, I mean, it's the best multiplayer Call of Duty. You ask people, they might say COD 4, but Black Ops is always in people's top three. So the multiplayer in this needs to be on point. And I'm wondering if they're going to go the Modern Warfare route and kind of, you know, do their own thing again and not appease that hardcore Call of Duty crowd or I I'm not sure what they're going to do but people have been asking my opinion on it this is one of the best time period pieces for a narrative driven military game and I'm really excited to see what they do with it. I loved the way that the campaign went in Modern Warfare 2019. I loved Black Ops 1 and this being a direct sequel I, I'm I'm so fucking excited, man. I'm curious where, if this is a direct sequel to the first one, where does the second campaign kind of fall into this? Because this is like 
This is like what Black Ops 5 now, and this is like a direct sequel to 1, so it should be like before 2. I'm curious to see how the timeline is going to be, or if it's kind of like a soft, like they're saying it's a direct sequel, but is it going to be like a soft reboot of like somewhere in between 1 and 2? I don't know what the fuck's going on, but... I do like the real world politics being brought into it here. I'm liking the fact that they're using, you know, like historical videos and footage to kind of push the narrative forward. Like this is, it's it's not military. It's not going to Iraq or it's not World War II. This is a time where tensions were high. And if they can play to that political Standard, my god, this is gonna be fucking incredible. I'm excited to see people are speculating because of the logo or the box art here. It's showing two different characters. So we might see, you know, from the US side, we might see from like the KGB side with the Russians and the Soviets. I don't know what to expect, but I'm very excited to see where this narrative goes, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm not going to take up much more of your time. Everyone was asking my opinion, so here it is. I'm excited for the single player. Don't really care about the multiplayer. I'll probably end up trying it, giving you guys my opinions in the future. But uh, right now, man, the campaign and the time period is what is really gripping me into this game right now. So let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys enjoy the videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Again, my name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.